Greetings, this is Robin's Book Club, episode 72, Marilyn Stafford, A Life in Photography. A few years ago, Dimbola Lodge on the Isle of Wight, former home of Julia Margaret Cameron, hosted a wonderful exhibition of Marilyn Stafford's photography. There was a talk which I couldn't attend to, but that gave the possibility of getting a signed copy of this book, which really is, for me, a book to treasure. I'm so glad I got it. Uh, This book is the first edition, and I did just want to highlight two things at this point. Firstly, uh, it's out of print, and therefore expensive. Secondly, good news, a second edition, revised and expanded and published in 2024, is available uh, direct from the publisher for about 50 to £60. Pounds. Uh, the publisher is Blue Coat Press, and I'll put a link in the comments below. Uh, Marilyn Stafford was born in Cleveland, Ohio in November 1925 and died on the 2nd of January 2023 in Shoreham-by-Sea, England, aged 97, a couple of years after this book came out. She must have been one of the most remarkable people you could have ever hoped to meet and I think that really comes across in this book. This first edition features a foreword by renowned photojournalist Tom Stoddart who describes Stafford as optimistic with an infectious smile and twinkling eyes, who photographed with skill, love, humour and respect. Uh, That's followed by a short essay by Jennifer Higgy, who quotes Stafford uh, answering the question what is her best work as saying this, I say this very humbly, I want to make the world a better place, and when I took the Algerian refugee photographs, I hoped that someone would do something about their situation. They're remarkable photos, as you'll see. Nina Emmett, who compiled and edited this work with assistance from Stafford's daughter, introduces the work and she says some of Stafford's key personal qualities were resilience, adaptability, rising above knockbacks and diverting course if things weren't going to plan. Lessons we could all learn from if we can adapt ourselves in those ways. Each section of the book is introduced by Stafford herself, uh, recalling something about the the time or the photographs that we're uh, we're seeing, and it starts with her uh, really learning how to use a 35mm camera in the back of a car moments before photographing Albert Einstein. I mean, how's that for pressure? There are chapters about Paris, uh, which includes models in the street, Algerian refugees in Tunisia, activists and artists in Rome, visions of a lost Lebanon, Fleet Street and Fashion, Indira Gandhi, and the aftermath of war in Bangladesh. We learned so much about street photography, portraiture, fashion, and how to do a a photography project as well, how to kind of, you know, self-initiate a project and make it work. Stafford shares ideas like this one, taking the bus to the end of the line and photographing there, so somewhere that you're kind of familiar but unfamiliar with, somewhere local but not your particular area that you're used to. It's a great idea. She finds interest in where she is, as well as choosing to go to places affected by wars and all sorts of human tragedy. Her life story itself is fascinating, uh, though not without hardship, and as you can see, her photography was really quite brilliant.
Well, I hope you've enjoyed Marilyn Stafford, A Life in Photography, as much as I did. What an amazing book, and really a, a life in photography. 70 years as a photographer. Um, a remarkable lady. And just look at this photograph. I mean, you could highlight so many from this book, but I love to see a contact sheet, first of all. I mean, that's that's always part of it, isn't it? That Magnum contact sheet book actually is on my horizon. It's upstairs at the moment, and I kind of feel like I should do something about that. But what a brilliant way to shoot fashion. I mean, it's just absolutely breathtaking to come up with the results that we see here um, such a remarkable uh, eye such a remarkable vision such a remarkable way of approaching uh, a fashion photo shoot i just think that there's something really really special about this photograph and so many of the photographs in this book as i say um, it's had a second edition which has been printed this year so you can get hold of that i don't know exactly the differences but it's expanded and uh, increased in size and just a, a final thought this book had to be started off as a kickstarter isn't that an interesting thought quite remarkable <laughs>